Hello and welcome back to CS615 System Administration. In this video, we're going to quickly run through one of the recommended warm-up exercises for week 2. I'll show you how to do the basic exercise in the hope that this will set you on the right track to then explore the other questions and dive a bit deeper into the topic at hand. The exercise itself is intended to get you familiar with the concept of cloud storage and to visualize how we can use elastic block store volumes just as if they were hard drives that we plug into a physical system. So let's see how we do this. Let's start by creating two instances. In the easier example, you create two instances of the same OS, but later I'm going to ask you to try two different operating systems to illustrate the requirement for file system support. Then we create a new volume and attach it to one of the instances. We create a file system on the new disk and mount it, and write a file to the file system. Then we can terminate the first instance. Now note that any files stored on the root file system of this instance are lost to us, as they are not persisted anywhere. But since we're looking at our custom volume here, we are then still able to attach this volume to the other instance now, and then retrieve the files from the volume via the second instance. Pretty straightforward, right? But this gives you an opportunity to practice the commands relating to file systems and disks. But I bet you picked your favorite operating system for this exercise. So why not make it a little bit harder on yourself and pick an OS that you're not as familiar with? You should find similarities, but some of the tools will behave differently, or you may need to use different tools altogether. And next, the more interesting question is, can you do this with two instances that do not run the same OS? That is, can you mount a disk with a file system created on one OS on another OS? Let's give this a try. So let's start with a NetBSD instance. And an Ubuntu instance. Now, to create a volume, I have another shell function to avoid me having to type too much. It's called new volume, and it takes two optional arguments. That is, if a first argument is given, it should be the size of the volume in gigabytes. If a second argument is given, it would be the availability zone. If neither is specified, we default to one gig volume in US East 1A. There. Now, we attach this volume to a NetBSD instance. This one up here. Next, we SSH into the instance. And look at the D message output for our disks. There we are. XPD0 as the root disk xpd1 as the newly added disk. We use the disk label tool to look at the partition table, which is shown here as a default, with a single partition spanning the whole disk. So let's create a new file system on this disk. We use the default UFS file system version 2. And mount it under a slash mount. There we go. Next, we create a file on the file system. So, we can now unmount the disk again. and exit. We then detach the volume from the instance and unceremoniously terminate our running NetBSD instance. Now, uh, let's see what the instance ID was of the Ubuntu instance we started.
There it is. So let's now attach the volume to this instance. and SSH to that instance. Here we are. Let's use the lsblock command to show the disks it uses here. And there it is. Now we mount this disk. But since this disk contains a file system that's not the standard file system on Ubuntu Linux, we have to specify that this is a UFS file system and we specify the version as well. The Linux kernel only supports UFS in read-only mode, so we specify that mount option 2. And there's the file we had previously created on the NetBSD instance. And there you have it. We successfully moved the volume from one EC instance of one OS to another instance of another OS and were able to access the files. As I said, please give this a try and make sure you understand all the commands used here. Then repeat the exercise using different operating systems and see if you can go the other way, creating a file system on, say, Linux and mounting it on FreeBSD, for example. Some of the links here may be useful for you in the process. If you run into problems or have any questions, don't hesitate to ask on the mailing list or in our class Slack. Thanks for watching and good luck!